tonight. They didn't go with the lineup that they announced. Now to the right side, high. Gaskins Jr. turns the ball over. Matty McConnell on a two-on-one fast break. Gets it over to Bain, threw it behind him. Bain made the catch. Spins at the right block, sends it outside. Josh Williams hits a three. How many times have I said that this year? Uh, 62, I think, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know you knew the answer. From Mendy, cuts over to the right side. Matty McConnell dribbles hard into the lane. Little pop shot from five feet away, and he scores it, putting the Colonials ahead by two. Yeah, I love when Matty McConnell takes that little pull-up jumper. He, he's, he's pretty good from about five feet out to about five. Turn and fire. It's stolen by Jamal King. Fast break, St. Francis. Pull-up jumper. Deep right corner is good for Isaiah Blackman. Here's Petaway driving down the right side of the key. Gives off instead to the corner. Matty McConnell, he looked like he wanted the ball back, Jim. He didn't think he had the right touch on it, but it went in for the tray. Yeah, Matty McConnell looks really sharp here tonight, playing with a lot of confidence for the Colonials and knocking down threes. That's uh, He's has struggled a little bit. He tried to reverse it and missed it with an air ball. Colonials get the rebound. Here's John Williams from McConnell inside. Yanni Smendy, that time the reversal worked. Wow, I love the way he shielded the ball from a flag as he went up on the other side. I thought he was going to get it blocked. Great move by Yanis Mendy. Mendy started right, cut under the basket, went up and under left. Bounding from baseline left. Bounces to the back door right. Oh, Mendy missed the shot first time, but he got the putback with a double-handed pop. Shot clock with eight minutes left in the half. Here comes Josh Williams. No look, slap pass. Yanis Mendy finishes it off. How about Bain starting it all? Yeah, great, great offensive rebound. And uh, St. Francis kind of fell asleep. They stopped playing defense after Charles Bain kicked the ball out. Williams sliding right, finds Savion McEwen. Savion will dribble into the lane. He'll swing his body left and push the ball back to the right and bank it in and score. And the Colonials are up 27 to 14. Seven minutes left in the half. Now Blackman with a step back three. Shot, he fought for the rebound, couldn't get it. King dribbles away with it. Here comes a break, three on three. Double clutching, laying it up and scoring is Randall Gaskins Jr. By Isaiah Blackman of St. Francis. Off the court, Gaskins pushes. There's King, high right, he's gonna J it up. He'll get it from Treyland over top of McEwen. Yeah, he's gotta go by now him. Tracy loses the ball, King picks it up. It's a steal and a fast break. Double clutch layup, up and good for Keith Braxton, and now the lead is only four. Yeah, Jamal, uh, Jamal King's just driving Dante Tracy crazy. Dante's got to go by him. Here's Matty McConnell. Shot clock and game clock, and now Dante Tracy dribbles into a jam. Ball is stolen by St. Francis. Three-point shot is good for Jamal King, and St. Francis just tied the game at 39. Now Josh Williams has the ball picked off. It's stolen. Here comes a drive. Here comes a layup. It's good, and the Frankies take the lead on Isaiah Blackman's finish. And now St. Francis with the ball back at the other end, running right to left. A pull-up jumper from the top of the foul circle for Keith Braxton is good. Point try, no good for Josh Williams. Bain knocks it down. McConnell catches it, shoots a three, and scores. With it right to left. Braxton cuts over to the right wing side. Gets a pick from Laparal, now fires a three. It's good, they can do no wrong. Yep, Braxton's got it going too. Over to the left side, John Williams. Entry pass, left of the key. It's Malik Petaway, backs in against two defenders. Fires yeah. a hook shot and scores! 60 to 54, the Colonials make it a two possession game again. Yeah, I'd go right back to Malik Petaway, next trip down the floor. Here's Ramir Dixon, Conover over to the left side to King, back to Conover. Matty McConnell at the free throw line, shoots it, it rolls around, it falls in good, and Matty McConnell has just become the 25th player in Robert Morris basketball history to join the 1,000 point club. Yeah, that's a great moment. What, what a nice show of sportsmanship too by Jamal King as he shakes hands with, uh, Matt, gives him a hug, Matty McConnell. They, they've battled for four years, those two guys, two of the better guards in the league. Matty for another. He can make it a five-point game, and he does. 65 to 60, Robert Morris trails. 10.47 remaining. Top of the key, Lop give and go. Laparal layup, in and out, no good. Knocked down with his hands on the rebound by John Williams. And Matty McConnell ends up with the ball with Robert Morris with a chance to tie. Uh, Laparel, he should just go up and dunk the basketball. He has a tough time with those layups. Here comes Matty. Shovel shot layup is good. He hits the deck. He gets fouled on the play. And he brings the Colonials back to within one. Matty McConnell is having a game of his life here tonight. 
Well, he was single-handedly. He kept Robert Morris in, and put him in the lead. If he makes his foul, makes foul tie, if he makes his foul shot. Fighting for it. King got hurt on the play. Now the Colonials keep it alive. Inside out. Bain over to the right side corner. Josh Williams missed it. Malik Penaway saved it. Got the rebound. No. Hooks it back up. It's no good. Penaway again. It's oh. up and good. Wow. We'll have to throw it over top of flag. Coleman runs the baseline, throws the ball into bounds, and flag tips it and deflects it, and the pass never got down the floor. St. Francis hangs on to win on a pass breakup of all things by Mark Flagg on the inbound attempt by Chris Coleman, and the Colonials fall 76 to 73 here in the Northeast Conference, only their second NEC loss this season.